I'll never forget when I was landing signal officer and our carrier visited that place. What a place. What a port in a storm. What a happy bunch of Joes those flyers were. After those long weeks at sea, naturally the first place they'd head for was the public library. I'd hardly seated myself at one of the reading tables when out came the librarian. <laughs> Hank was doing all right. There goes Hank disobeying the cut again. Another good flyer gone wrong. Unfortunately, he could be that way in a plane, too, without half trying. On his approaches, he usually starts his turns high and too fast. He overcorrects on my signals, and then he's slow. And low, and near the ramp. So I have to give him the cut. The wise guy decides to take a wave off instead. Boy, well, when your hook is down, a lot can happen on this kind of a deal. You don't have to be exactly brilliant to see that this rug is a real pony. So I try to give Chuck the wave off. But no luck. He wants to be living proof that there's one born every minute. And he is. If only he were different in a plane. But he isn't. He's ready to come aboard. He follows his checkoff list. Hook down, check. Wheels down, check. Canopy open and lock, check. Flaps down, check. Prop low pitch, shoulder harness locked and tightened. Guns on safe, switches off. Rocket switched off and safe. Bomb switched off and safe. Patcher armor switched off. Check. He's all set. His approach is good. Not too high or too low. Not too fast, not too slow. He's just right, but I give him the wave off. But he gives it the cut. Well, he landed okay. Except he didn't know the deck was foul. The wave off and the cut are the only mandatory signals I give, and always for good reasons. It's healthier to obey them. Willie was shopping for a distinctive gift, and he found a very good buy in a flying carpet. And very sensibly insisted on a free trial which surprisingly was eminently successful up to the point where Willie put too much confidence in the carpet's flying ability instead of landing it himself. He um, held off, as we say in Navy circles. So like him. Well, here's a recent snapshot of Willie with barriers. I tagged along with two of the boys, Frenchie and his buddy Mike, who wanted to get a fast look around. And fast look is what it was. Imagine what happens if a guy flies an airplane this way. In spite of everything you do to bring him in right, he'll overshoot the groove and come in at an angle. 
And that does it, brother. Well, Frenchie must have been lucky. Move over. I'll show you how to pilot this heat. Anyhow, nothing has happened. Yet. And we're still in the groove. Diving for the deck. Why do they do this to me? And this guy calls himself a flyer. But just because he gets in the landing circle properly and goes through his checkoff list like any good pilot, that doesn't make him a flyer. All right, so his approach is good. And he reacts nicely to my signal. So then what? I'll tell you what. I give him the cut. Why, oh, why does he shove the stick forward and hit the deck wheels first? I wish I knew. Uh-oh. I wonder what Harry's up to. on the carrier. I've got to give him a wave off. He attempts recovery by jamming the throttle forward, applying left rudder and horsing back on the stick. He sets himself up for a spin. When you get in such a position, don't over control. Take it easy and make that Recovery safe. On all your landings, you've got to line up with the deck and fly the plane all the way in till you land her. How's your approach technique? <laughs> 